hi guys, welcome back to my shop. <clears throat> you haven't heard from me in a while, and there's a reason for that. I kind of went on vacation. I uh, had to get away after two years of being stuck in the house here, and uh, so I went on a trip. 8,000 miles from Ohio to Washington State, back to Ohio via well, Missouri, and then uh, up to a wedding in Oswego, New York, and then back home, and then back out again to down east Maine uh, to see my uh, daughter and grandchild and grandchildren, uh, and then came back home. And that's 8,000 miles. I'm done. I'm not driving anymore, at least not this year. That's, that's all over. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to make this uh, quick little video here. I've already uh, fixed this thing, and... Um, uh, because the people really needed it uh, soon, so I just wanted to show you what I did and uh, kind of tell you what the symptoms are uh, if um, if you've got one of these things. So you can fix it. So what we have here is a Mosley 6000 series transmitter. Um, STL transmitter, studio transmitter link. And um, it's it was sent in with a the problem of no output had uh, no RF output and the uh, what I saw on it first was the IPA level which is right here was well, way down here around oh, 20 <laughs> and no RF out and no PA current I started checking around in the thing and I found out real fast that. Everything was working. I knew it was working back here in this part, which is where, back here, which is where all of the frequency setups are done. I think I've done a video on this. I know I have on how to set the frequency, um, on, at least on the receiver. The transmitter is pretty much the same thing. Uh, but everything was fine here because the AFC lock light, that one right there, came on. So it was good. And everything else just wasn't working right for transmit. And uh, I traced it down just by, you know, taking measurements and voltage measurements and stuff. And found out that there's a little part in here called the MAR4. I'll show you here on the schematic, what or on the picture, what it is. This is a MAR4. It has RF in two grounds and RF out with DC in on it. And that's basically, um, you know, just just a little little IC, um, and it runs on 12 volts up here. If we uh, if we go over to the schematic, I believe is what I've got. Yeah, there it is. This right here is where it's at. It is fed off of the filter um, and through a capacitor. Uh, through this MAR4 to the uh, MWA3300. Now, I'll show you where those are real quick. This is the filter. These three, right here. The MWA3300, the last one is this here. And the MAR4 is on the bottom. Let's see if we can get down here far enough so that you can, I can show this to you. It's not a very big device. It's right there. It goes in these four tabs upside down. This coil, which is busted, the, the, the part of it came off, but it's, it's still doing its thing, um, is fed from the B-plus supply of 12 volts, which is right back here so anyway the um if we look look again at the manual you'll see that the 12 volts comes in here uh up through this l17 uh through this resistor that's one watt r70 175 which is this guy right back here can i yeah it's uh, right back there, and it feeds it through and up to here, so that, I was wrong, this is the output up here. 
So the output goes to this capacitor. So this is the input, that little marked one. This is the output, and these two are ground. It's kind of a little confusing because of the way this thing comes across that coil. Anyhow, and then that feeds this MWA330. Well, this guy, when I measured it before, the voltage here was being dragged down through this R75, and it was getting warm. The voltage was being dragged down to about 5 volts, and it should be running about 12. Anyway, that's what told me there might be something wrong with it. So, and uh, we'll take a look and see what it does. I've got it turned on, and I'm on uh, IPA level. IPA level should be, after it settles down, right around zero. Uh, the PA current eh, should be in that area someplace, and the output should be at zero for five, five to five and a half watts. So it's working right. These MARFORs are available. You can buy them. Uh, I think DigiKey's got them. The only part, they're, they're really, it's a pain in the neck to get them in there because the legs are very short and the hole is just, there's a hole, if I can show you under here. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. There's a hole under there. for ventilation, I'm sure, that this thing sits right on top of. If we uh, turn over the camera. Uh, what did I do? Um, yeah, there's the hole right there. Right underneath this one, uh, what is it? Point one micro Henry choke. It's a hole. So it's, it's kind of difficult to get it in there uh, just because it's uh, small and the... Um, The, um, the legs aren't very long. But anyhow, that was just a really quick one I wanted to do and uh, let you know. Um, I'm going to tune this thing up. Basically, I'm just going to make sure this it stays on frequency. AFC lock does, which I I did in another one. If I can find it, I'll put it up uh, up there. Um, so, that you know, that's it. But I want to let you guys know, uh, I got a lot of stuff. While I was out there, I, I, I picked up a lot of junk. Uh, to fix and play with and as soon as I got back home things started showing up or back to the shop things started showing up at the door so I got a lot of things to fix too so I'll be back uh, regularly with new stuff and I um, hope you all will uh, will watch it and uh, start some start some talk on it and uh, if you want to um, go over to Patreon and support me keep me going and um uh, and, the, you know, I thank you all for uh, stopping by. So, until next time.